as classical antiquity, the loss of control of the substance has been discussed in the early 17th century. Development of drugs and substance abuse from early age. During the prehistoric times, the people discovered that intake of some plants gave them energy, happiness, sleep and giddiness. So they started cultivating and consuming them in their need sufficiently. Alcoholic beverages were being uh, produced as early as 7000 BCE. Then fermented honey or cereals were used with an alcoholic content. Then a product from wheat and barley known as beer is used by a major population in bulk. And even gods enjoy drink, uh, getting drunk. Then opium was used. Hallucinogens and natural highs were used in the ancient Greece in the 15th century. Then cocaine was started as a wonder cure for all ailments. Tobacco is a popular drug from the new world. The turning point of drugs and substance abuse. Until 19th century, the psychoactive plants were used as drugs and medicines. Isolation of pure substance uh, was produced in 19th century. Many drugs like morphine, quinine, cocaine were synthesized in 19th century. The first synthetic drug, chloral hydrate, was discovered by Matthias in the year in, uh, in 19th century. After 20th century, the use of uh, drugs have increased to a great height. The oldest drug in history, opium is the oldest drug used by the Sumerians first around 5000 BCE. It was an effective painkiller and cough separant. Heroin, morphine, and other opiates trace their origin from a single plant, opium. Cultivation of this uh, plant dates back from the earliest year of human civilization. The earliest reference to opium use and the cultivation of opium comes from Mesopotamia around 3400 BCE. Thank you. Thank you, Alma. Thank you, Almas. We have Divya J next. Are you ready, please. Divya? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, Christila, please be ready. Next. Can I start with yeah. presentation? Yes, yes. Please start. Divya J, start start your presentation. If Divya J is not ready, we can go with the next presenter. Because okay, is Christina ready? Christina. Yes, yeah, okay, you can present now. Uh, Mariam, please be ready for next. Thank you. 
it's a little buffering uh, christila that start the voice is breaking christila who is in the next line no no voice is breaking come with the problem Yes, okay, be ready, Christina. We have uh, let's have Mariam L M now. Are you ready, Mariam? Yes. Can I start presenting? Yes. Yeah. Present. Pravin Kumar can be ready. He'll be presenting next. Okay, ma'am. guys come with a proper connection while you are presenting the word should not buffer is my audio clear yeah you are mariam lm is presenting ramna you do not give the heroine to be good evening to one and all present here I, Mariam Elam, currently doing my second year in BA English Literature from JBS College, is here to do a paper presentation on history of drug and substance abuse. We all have seen drugs or drug abuse in movies, posters, campaigns, etc. Now, what is a drug? A drug is any substance when observed in the body of a living organism alters the normal bodily function. drugs are chemicals that change the way a person's body works by altering emotions and thoughts so when you take in drugs you are in your senses or normal state so now we have drugs let's see what is drug substance abuse when these drugs are habitually taken in huge amounts or by methods which are harmful to the individual it is said to be substance abuse or drug abuse it is a form of substance related disorder Commonly abused drugs are marijuana, cocaine, heroin, alcohol, etc. Sometimes sedatives, coffee, cigarettes can all be harmful if used in excess. Studies show that excessive alcohol consumption is responsible for 2.5 million years of potential life loss annually. Ancient people used to play planned. Ancient people used plant-based drugs and alcohol for medicinal, religious, and recreational purposes. Some drugs have been used as medications for most of human history. For instance, the medicinal use of opium is described by the earliest written records. Nephthys pharmacon is mentioned in the 19th century BC in Homer's Odyssey. The mushroom, Amanita muscaria, has been has been at the center of religious rituals in central asia for at least 4000 years the mushroom had a religious significance in ancient india and travelers recorded its use as late as 18th century in north eastern india the potential addictive drugs have been used as a proportion of the population on a regular basis to the point that they have been considered staple commodities alcohol nicotine that's find an example of widely used consumed drugs we all love time travel right let's together travel back and trace the path of the abuse of these drugs or substances the first ever recorded wine appeared in armenia sometime around 7000 bc the ancient greeks and romans they found the wine and even dedicated several religious festivals and gods to alcohol consumption and celebration Coming a little forward from there, the first the first known cultivation of opium poppies was in Mesopotamia, approximately three thousand four hundred BC. Sumerian, Assyrian, Egyptian, Indian, Minoan, Greek, Roman, Persian, and Arab empires all made widespread use of opium, which was the most potent form of pain relief then available. 
allowing ancient surgeons to perform prolonged surgical procedures. Use of the opium poppy for medical, recreational, and religious purposes can be, can be traced to the 4th century BC. Greeks and Romans made their marks on the history of drug abuse. They were known to have been very fond of wine and used it as a for during the celebrations, religious gatherings, and other social events. Alcohol was often used as an offering to the gods in religious rituals. In ancient Mesopotamia, which is now known as Iraq, with this cultivation of wheat and barley came another product, beer, which was consumed in bulk. Consequently, addiction to alcohol was rampant in the so called cradle of civilization. People during that time generally lived much shorter lives due to the disease and presumably drunkenness. Coming further from there, the Babylonians worshipped a wine goddess as early as 2000 BC, a fermented drink made from honey and water. Greek literature is full of warnings against excessive drinking. In India, an alcoholic beverage called in India, an alcoholic beverage called Sura distilled from water was in 2000. Recent back, tobacco has long been used in America with some cultivation sites in Mexico dating back to 1400 to 1000 BC. It was smoked both socially and ceremonially so as to see the peace or trade at war. Abuse of, abuse of tobacco led to very expensive operations as it was a risky but incredible profitable voyage for those who made it over the Atlantic. Drugs such as opium eventually made to China and the local Chinese started trading it with the British, French and Dutch traders. It started arriving in Europe and Americas in bulk in the late 17th century when it swiftly became a problem. With few effective controls on opium production and sale, it rapidly reached epidemic levels in the United States due to the war. Around 45,000 soldiers came home with this. Around 45,000 soldiers came home from this war, unable to function without morphine. The late half of the 19th century, drug abuse was so widespread that Britain went to war twice with China to keep opium trade rules open, and these naturally became known as the Opium Wars. Cocaine was isolated in 1884 and quickly became yet another widespread drug of abuse. Widespread drug of abuse. Of course, heroin didn't, did turn out to be very addictive, causing more people to abuse the drug. To counter the growth, to counter the growing tide of addiction, drug laws became stricter, and drug, drug addiction started to carry a serious social stigma. During the early part of the nation's history, addiction was seen as a moral failing. People struggling with addiction were left to die in the street or were thrown into prison. It wasn't until the late 20th century when brain imaging scans showed the effects of drugs on the brain that addiction began to be seen as a disease. But since it's a disease with emerging technology and advanced sciences, it can be treated and controlled with human therapeutic means. As you can all see, tracing back from thousands of years till date, substance abuse has been prevalent among people. It started off as medicinal, religious, recreational purposes, but when people started abusing it, it got out of control. It was a major threat to one's health and life. So there ends my paper presentation. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the YRC unit of Etheraj College for giving me this wonderful opportunity, and thanks to all those who listen patiently. Have a great weekend ahead. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so Thank much, you. Maria. Uh, thank you, Maria. Are ready? Kavin Kumar. Yes, ma'am. Can I present my screen? Yes, yes. please. Uh, Sharmila L uh, is going to do next. Please be ready. Um, is there visible my presentation? Yeah, it's visible. Pravin, you okay. can uh, switch on your video and then you can present.
Um, I am presenting in my laptop. Okay, okay. It, then it's up to you. Okay, ma'am. My name is Pravin Kumar from Mar Gregorius College of Arts and Science. I'm studying BCom General in first year. What is a drug? A drug is any substance, with the exception of food and water, which when taken into the body alters the body's function, either physically and or psychologically. Drugs may be legal or illegal. Legal drugs such as alcohol, caffeine, and tobacco, and the illegal drugs such as cannabis, ecstasy, cocaine, and heroin. History of drug. First drug uh, in 1830s, the chemist Justus von Liebig began the synthesis of organic molecules, starting the production of all organic substances no longer belongs just to living organisms. In 1832, produced floral hydrate, the first synthetic sleeping drug. History of drug. The history of drug abuse extends much further back in time than many people think. For instance, alcoholic beverages were being produced as early as 7000 BC, according to research published by University of Pennsylvania. In addition, hallucinogens have been found in caves in Peru. That date back between 8600 to 5600 BC. One of the best ways to understand how we can offer guidance and treatment is to understand the history of drug use, research the positive and negative effects of drugs, and find trends in the 21st century. Pablo Escobar, drug lord. If one man could be said to represent the idea of a drug kingpin, that one man could. B. Pablo Escobar, while running the Medellin cartel out of Colombia in the 70s and 80s, Escobar's ruthless tactics ensured a steady flow of cocaine in America. Some sources estimate that 80% of cocaine imported into this country came through Escobar's enterprise, some 15 tons per day and its peak. Drug addiction and risk factors about that. Drug addiction is a chronic brain disease. It causes a person to take drugs repeatedly, despite that harm they cause. Repeated drug use can change the brain and lead to addiction. The brain changes from addiction can be lasting, so drug addiction is considered as relapsing disease. Mental health problems. People who have untreated mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, or attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, are more likely to become addicted. Trouble at home. If your home is an unhappy place or was when you were growing up, you might be more likely to have a drug problem. Starting drug use when you are young. When kids use drug, it affects the, how their bodies and brain finish growing. This increases your chances to becoming addicted when you are an adult. Punishments for the drugs. Anyone who contravents the NDPS acts. Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act will face punishment based on the quantity of the banned substance. Where the contravention involves small quantity less than 1 kg, has imprisonment for term which may extend to 6 months or with fine which may extend to rupees 10,000 or with both. Where the contravention involves quantity lesser than commercial quantity but greater than small quantity, has imprisonment for a term which may extend to 10 years with the fine, maybe extend to rupees 1 lakh. Where the contravention involves commercial quantity, has imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than 10 years, but which may extend to 20 years, and shall be also liable fine which shall not be less than 1 lakh, but which may extend to rupees 2 lakhs. India alone accounted for 6% of the world cannabis help. Seizures in 2016, nearly 300 tons, and reported seizing even higher quantities in 2017, 353 tons, a 20% increase compared to 2016. The report by UN Office of Drugs and Crime. Narcotics Control Bureau, uh, Chennai Zonal Unit, which is located near uh, Ayapakam Ambattur, and uh, contact number and website of the Narcotics Control Bureau. Conclusion. In conclusion, although the problem of drug may seem impossible to eliminate, there are concrete steps that can be taken to weaken the hold of drugs on society 
and the persistence to bad habits is not due to an absence of desire for a better life but more likely due to the impact of addiction on drugs to the brain it is easier to stay off of stay off drugs than to get off drugs thank you ma'am okay thank you pravin kumar uh, we have sharmila l next i want um, shehana parvesh to be ready what about uh, divya and one more girl who tried to present earlier uh, amudini one second yes ma'am i'll try to do can you do it now yes ma'am what about divya what about divya divya is not in the meet she went out of the meet eh? yes okay yes. is not here the vishri is here but the vyaja is not here okay uh, kristila please try yes is it visible now am i clear yes both are clear oh thank you so good evening to all i am prasila from sd and the vaishnav college from bed the topic of my presentation is as we know history of drug and substance abuse the history of drug extends much farther back in time than many people may think for instance alcoholic beverages were being produced as early as 7000 bc according to the research published by the university of pennsylvania in addition hallucinations have been found caves in peru the date back between 8600 and 5600 bc humans have been taking mind altering substances for thousands of years in some cultures drugs and alcohol consumption that have been a part of daily life uh, some of the drugs created since the 1800s are lsd amphetamines prescription painkillers tracopine morphine etc as more drugs have been prescribed in recent years withdrawal from these drugs whether prescribed or not can be intense especially in patients still suffering from extreme pain combination with the pressure of modern society some people turn into illegal drugs drugs as an escape of uh, and means of self medicating uh, now let's look at the history of some familiar drugs history of cocaine small amount of cocaine or present in coca cola and did not carry any stigma Harsh laws came when the drug became associated with black Americans. Clearly, it is associated with racism. The crack version of cocaine fuels draconian mandatory minimums that are still sell today. Even though the majority of people who use crack cocaine are white, most people were arrested and imprisoned only because they were black. History of MDMA. MDMA is proved to have psychological effects, and it was discovered by the famous chemist, chemist Alexander Slago. Uh, there was a great interest in the benefits of MDMA for therapy. The drug did not become illegal until 1985. Uh, when it became illegal, it was because it was popular in rave and dance scenes. Uh, history of marijuana, like cocaine and opium, marijuana is also associated with. The campaign I held against marijuana took off when the drug was associated with Mexican Americans and Latinos in 1930s. um president warnock nixon launched the modern war war on drugs and marijuana was the convenient way to go after black americans and anti vietnam war protesters now we are at the paradoxical time where marijuana is becoming mainstream as washington dc have legalized marijuana if there are more uh, approximately 600000 marijuana possession arrests each year history of opium opium was a very popular drug among the white women especially and it is used for colicky babies more than 100 years of years 
age, but perception changed when it was used to do stigmatize Chinese Americans. It is also associated with racism, of course. The image of Chinese people using opium made it the first prohibited drug, but it has certain medicinal effects. Uh, now let's look about substance abuse. Substance abuse is also known as drug abuse. Excessive use of psychoactive drugs such as alcohol, pain medications or illegal drugs, it can lead to physical, social or emotional harm. It is a form of substance related disorder. Differing definitions of drug abuse are unused in public health, medical or criminal justice context. In some cases, criminal or antisocial behavior occurs when the person is under the influence of drugs and long-term personality changes in individuals may also occur as well. Uh, there are some problems associated with substance abuse. There is a high rate of suicide in alcoholics and other drug abuses. The recent risks believed to have caused a high risk of suicide include the long-term abuse of alcohol and other drugs causing psychological disorders of brain, chemistry as well as the social isolation. Individuals with the substance abuse have higher degree of impulsivity. And individuals who use multiple drugs tend to have been more and more impulsive. Legal approaches. Most of the government has designed legislation to criminalize certain types of drug use. These drugs are often called illegal drugs. But generally, what is illegal is that is their unlicensed protection, distribution and possession. These drugs are also called controlled substances. Even for simple possession, legal punishments can be quite severe, including the death penalty in some countries. So say no to drugs, put it out before it put you out. Um, I would like to conclude by conveying a message that drug addicts are not to be treated as criminals, but as patients. But uh, drug producers, exporters and transporters are to be treated as criminals and to be given penalties. Uh, this brings me to the end of my presentation and thank you so much for this platform. Thank you. Thank you, Christila. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have Sharmila L next. You can present Sharmila. Am I audible? Yes. Is the screen is visible for you? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, Sharmila. Okay. So, just a minute. So, hi everyone. This is Sharmila from English Department of First Year from SDNB Vaishnav College. Uh, so, today's topic is history of drugs and substance abuse. Basically, drugs. Uh, I like to say a proverb that is, too much of everything is good for nothing. This proverb is exactly suits for the one who is most involved in drugs. Drugs can be used for positive and sometimes, it, sorry, most of the time it can be negative. So, use it wisely only for uh, painkillers like that. recent form of drugs mostly uh, drugs are in the five uh, five forms they are bath salts cocaine ecstasy flaca and heroin so these are the most famous forms of drugs even though now also they are now also they are popular among the people and next is drugs drugs can be injected into one's body even knowing their knowledge or else it can be swallowed by one by wishing themselves for pleasure and even it can be inhaled. And next is history of drugs. Alcoholic beverages was produced in 7000 BC. Uh, in addition to that, hallucinogens was produced around 5600 5, to 8000 BC. Actually, it looks like a typical mushroom. Isn't it? Uh, and the next one is cocaine. Yeah, uh, cocaine. Cocaine uh, is also called as coca. is one of the oldest, most potent, and most dangerous stimulants of natural origin. Three thousand years ago, uh, before Christ, ancient Incas who lived in the Andes was chewed cocoa leaves to bear the situation because they were living in thin mountain air. So to bear the situation, they used cocaine leaves. But after that, native Peruvians chewed cocoa leaves for uh, religious ceremonies. 
after spanish uh, soldiers invaded peru uh, they adapted these habits and uh, the cocaine was first isolated by german chemist albert neumann in 1859 so uh, to bear the climatic situation the ancient uh, our ancestors were used cocaine but nowadays it was actually used for pleasure and the next one is tabacos tabacos was long used in early americas the arrival of spain introduced tabacos to the europeans and it became a lucrative heavily traded commodity to support the popular habit of smoking usually it will be sm used in smoking uh, for example we can also say shakespeare as i am a english student i want to relate it to with uh, english subject that is uh, shakespeare he is a very good writer but the only thing is without tobaccos he can't do anything uh, for that in this case this tobaccos were also used uh, like what uh, for imagination power he used tobaccos without tobaccos uh, uh, he cannot write all those plays Uh, so, so in, in this case, the tobaccos were used as a imaginative skill to improve his imaginative skills. Also, this tobaccos was first discovered by native people of Mesoamerica and South America in twentieth middle century. So, uh, my last topic is, as I said before, too much of anything is good for nothing. So, uh, drugs. can be also used for legal and illegal purposes know how to use these drugs in proper way like shakespeare did not for uh, physical pleasure not for uh, mental pleasure and all just use it for proper way and gain yourself thank you thank you sharmila thank you sharmila uh shahnaz parvez can present now okay Okay, Devishri R, please be ready. You're gonna do next. I'm audible. Yes, you're audible, and we can see your screen. Good evening, everyone. I'm Aisha Hanas Parvez from Justice Bashir Ahmed Sahib College for Women. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I will start my presentation on history of drug and substance abuse. I don't need to tell you about drugs because it's common. so i will start with intro so i will start now ancient civilization people used plant based drugs and alcohols for medical religious and recreational purposes but humans want everything to far to work fast so a for bearers we find more potent compounds and devised faster routes of administration which ultimately caused to abuse the drugs so i will so i will present four commonly abused drugs first is nicotine we all know about nicotine it is used in cigarettes so i will go into a uh, quick facts about its history use it and its effects on us nicotine is a highly addictive chemical compound found in the tobacco plant the addiction is both physical and mental in physical sense means habitual users come to crave the chemical and they cannot live with it and in mental sense uh, users consciously desire nicotine's effects on them history of nicotine usage the tobacco plant is indigenous is indigenous to americas and it has been used for as long as 2000 years nicotine was first used as a medicine in 1560 french king believed that smoking protected against illness particularly the plague it was also used as insecticide in the late 17th century nicotine abuse so nicotine is mostly used in the forms of cigarettes cigars 
hookahs and some even chew nicotine nicotine is highly addictive and exposes people to the extremely harmful condition harmful effects of tobacco dependency nicotine is both a sedative and stimulant when a body is exposed to nicotine the individual experiences a kick this is partly caused by nicotine stimulating adrenal glands which results in the release of adrenaline and in return adrenaline increases heartbeat breathing activity and blood pressure nicotine also affects pancreas causing them to produce less insulin causing a slight increase in blood sugar or glucose the nicotine addiction can be treated by behavioral treatment and medical treatment the next one is marijuana marijuana is also known as cannabis or pot has has a long history of human use many ancient people used marijuana as a medicinal plant not as a narcotic drug it growth is uh, it growth is stated as a uh, in asia around 500 bc burnt cannabis seeds have been found in the graves of shamans in china and serbia from as early as 500 bc now let's see the effects of marijuana marijuana is either smoked or inhaled or eaten as powder marijuana is associated with wide range of health issues particularly related to heart and lung problems and mental health condition One research even found that marijuana smokers have a 4.8 fold increase in the risk of heart attack in the first hour after using the substance. It impairs judgment and motor condition, causing the causing the user, uh, causing the users to get injury by mostly while driving. The addiction of marijuana can be treated by 12-step facilitation therapy. cognitive behavior behavioral therapy which is also known as cbt therapy which is a popular therapy used motivational enhancement therapy and other scientifically valid approaches can be uh, effective addiction treatment options the next is cocaine cocaine is a stimulant drug that is made from the leaves of the south american cocoa plant for thousands of years indigenous people in amazon forest and andes mountains have chewed cocoa leaves to get an energetic high in fact in the short they need uh, they need cocaine to make them feel energetic in all the in day to day activities so let so i will continue with effects of cocaine users primarily administer cocaine orally intranasally intravenously or by inhalation cocaine causes permanent effects in genetics in brain cells nerve cells and proteins some people who often use cocaine will de- will develop a dependence on them so in in short they cannot live with cocaine they need cocaine to live to lead their day to day life cocaine abnormally increases the level of dopamine in the brain in eventually reprogramming the brain reward system Although some people are able to quit cocaine on their own, many require therapy or rehab. The next is alcohol. Alcohol is a common drug. Alcohol is a common drug. We get about we get its knowledge from uh, from schools. So it's nothing new. So I will uh, I will run a gist. It's a it's likely that alcohol production started when early farmers noted the fermentation that took place in fallen fruit. it is one of the most common and the oldest recreational substance the effects of alcohol uh, is the effect uh, alcohol causes various societal problems including driving accident accidental injuries sexual assault domestic abuse and violent crimes the prolonged use of alcohol can cause significant permanent damage to brain and other organs resulting in dysfunction or ultimately to death treatment involves counseling by a healthcare professional a detoxification program in a hospital or medical facility is an option for those who need additional assistance i will conclude by saying that drug and substance abuse addiction doesn't go away overnight you have to work hard to overcome it and be bold to face the consequences thank you thank you so much shahnas uh, devyashri r can present now Amudini, how many more presenters we have? Uh, let me see. Four. Oh, five now. Yeah, fine. Okay. 
you can carry on devishri my ready devishri pj yeah um yeah okay okay yeah thank you uh, vasumati j please be ready to do after devishri uh, devishri can present good evening to one and all present here uh, my name is pj divyashree uh, studying bsc psychology third year at jbs college uh, let's trace the history of the drug abuse uh, before that we didn't we need to know about psychoactive drugs psychoactive drugs are drugs that alters the mental state and bodily functions in ancient time as well as uh, current times uh, we use drugs these drugs for three uses uh, priest uh, in religious ceremonies like uh, that is uh, example amanita muscaria it is a type of uh, mushroom uh, which is uh, used for a uh, uh, psychoactive purpose uh, then healers for medicinal purpose example opium uh the gen uh, third one is the general population in a social way uh, that is uh, alcohol nicotine and caffeine we all love uh, dark chocolates and uh, french fries right uh, dark chocolate has a uh, some amount of uh, caffeine in it potato has uh, some amount of nicotine in it uh, is it right we say uh, we say we are addicted to it no so we have we need to know about uh, know about what is substance use and substance abuse substance abuse substance abuse is habitual misuse of drug for the sole pur purpose of euphoria or recreation euphoria is uh, intense feeling of happiness to achieve that we use we abuse the substance it is called as substance abuse uh in uh, arche archaeological records indicate the presence of psychotropic plants and drug use in the ancient civilization as far back as early hominid species about 200 million years ago roughly 13000 years ago the inhabitants of timor commonly used betel nut and uh, as those in thailand around 10700 years ago ethiopians and north northern africans were documented as having used an ephedrine analog cat before european colonization at the beginning of the european colonization and perhaps 40000 years before that australian aborigines used nicotine from two different indigenous sources that is pituitary plants and uh, nicotiana gosca north and south americans also used nicotine from their indigenous plants uh, cocaine was taken by ecuadorians about 5 5000 years ago and by the indigenous people of western andes uh, almost 7000 years ago wine was used at least from the time of the early egyptians narcotics from 4000 bc medicinal use of marijuana has been dated to uh, 2737 bc in china morphine laudanum and cocaine was completely unregulated and prescribed freely by the physicians for a wide variety of physical ailments during the american civil war morphine was used freely and uh, wounded veterans returned home with their kits of morphine and hypodermic needles alcohol and uh, alcohol nicotine and caffeine have permeated our culture serving as a vehicle for social interaction shaping our urban landscape from the japanese tea house to the B british pub stimulating the opening of the international trade routes similarly hashish that is cannabis has uh, has been largely consumed eaten and later smoked in islamic cultures the oldest seeds of the cultivated vines so far discovered and carbon dated were found in jo georgia and uh, belong to the period of 7000 to 5000 bc coffee was largely used throughout the islamic world at the end of the 15th century it was spread rapidly in europe and europeans into introduced coffee plants into their colonies in 1979 ethnobotanist uh, uh, considered it ethiogen that uh, that one which causes god to be within the individual was the more accurate uh, accurate word for 
hallucinogen and psychedelic drugs let's see the uh, let's see how these drugs invaded to the india alcohol alcohol usage of alcohol dates to the ancient time in india alcohol was described as the drink of gods that is somabana in vedas and have references in puranas uh, the ancient uh, indian society was aware of the hazards of uh, uh, alcoholism indian physician charaka rem remarks moderate use of the alcohol being healthy and recommends the treatment for heavy uses of alcohol this was changed with the arrival of the moguls uh, the sale of the alcohol was also decreased it again uh, gained momentum with the british empire in the india after independence the directive principles of state policy mandated the government initiated efforts to restrict alcohol consumption uh, recent uh, recent uh, trends indi indicate increased uh, usage of alcohol uh, the government uh, uh, also take has taken great uh, initiatives to stop it next one is cannabis cannabis uh, use has been prevalent in india since a long time and ancient indian texts describe medicinal use of the cannabis cannabis indica grows freely in the cool hilly areas of lower himalayas traditionally used of uh, traditional use of cannabis has been socially sanctified on certain hindu festivals that is holi and shivratri and uh, consumption of uh, cannabis has been prevalent in the form of oral intake of leaves and smoked forms india became a india became a signatory to Uh, to the single convention on narcotic drugs move forward uh, move toward the declaring cannabis uh, as illegal drug opium opium was apparently introduced in india by the arabs around 9th century ad thereafter use of uh, opioids gradually spread over the northern india especially among the rich and the powerful use of the opioids in the form of raw opium and poppy has became the acceptable as it uh, really relieved the pain caused relaxation and euphoria opium use was also popular among women and children but in limited amounts farmers used opium during the harvest season to alleviate fatigue and enhance productivity raw opium was replaced by the newer illicit opioids they are morphine morphine is the most prevalent and important alkaloid in the opium heroin heroin is derived from the morphine and it is 2 to 3 times more potent than morphine disgusting history in 7 uh, in 1736 a swedish colon colonel uh, named philip john published an account of behavior of corrupt people living in kamchatka region of siberia he described the use of amanita muscaria which is uh, used for the Uh, which is a mus mushroom used for the religious uh, purposes uh, as a intoxicant by the local people uh, he also noted that following unusual behavior the poorer sort who cannot afford to lay in a store of these mushrooms uh, post themselves on these occasion round the huts of the rich watch opportunity of the guest coming down to make water and then hold their wooden bowl to receive their union which they drink of greedily as having still uh, some virtue of their mushroom in it and by this way they also get drunk this is a this is really a disgusting history and a extent of how the siberian uh, local people were addicted to the uh, drug then government initi initiatives against drug abuse narcotic drugs and a psychotropic substance act and the prevention of illicit trafficking in uh narcotic drugs and the psychotropic substance uh, act were uh, passed by the uh, indian government they have identified 237 drugs and banned its manufacturing and usage thank you thank you so much devashri vasumati are you ready you can start presenting vasumati j She's not in the meet. Uh, Vasumathi is not in the meet, ma'am. Let's go to the okay. next. Okay. Uh, okay, ma'am. Pavitra Petrina, are you ready? But she has posted that she has posted the presentation. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Mm. But she's not in the meet. 
Pavitra, yeah. Yeah, okay, you can press in Pavitra. Okay, ma'am. Good evening all, myself. Excuse me, Mr. Gandhi. Good evening all, myself Pavitra and I am from JBAS College studying 2nd BSc Mathematics and here I am to explain about history of substance and drug abuse. What happened, Pavitra? I think she couldn't present. Oh. I saw it in one minute. Yeah. Once again, I'm extremely sorry, ma'am. It's okay, Pavitra. It happens. We wait. Your screen is visible, Pavitra. You can start presenting. I was speaking, ma'am. What is substance abuse? It is uh, it is just a drug abuse where uh, drugs are used in uh, more num more amount and also by methods which are harmful to the person who is using it and also it is harmful to the person uh, who are around them. Uh, we can also call the substance abuse as drug abuse or uh, substance use disorder or substance misuse disorder. So now we can move straight away to history. Ancient people also used drugs which were based on plants. Uh, they also used alcohol for medicinal purpose and uh, religious and recreational purpose. Alcoholic beverages were being produced as early as 7000 BC. This was um, announced by 
University of Pennsylvania. Natural substances accessed in prehistoric times were alcohol, cannabis, opium, blue lotus, tobacco, cocaine. Even, even at this century, that is, we are at 21st century, as the science and technology grows, and also the drugs, uh, the production of drugs, or the growth of production of drugs also have increased. Like, they have not stopped at any cost. They have developed, like, marijuana, alcohol, heroin, cocaine. These four substances are higher as, uh, as per the ratings like marijuana was uh, increased in purity of 160 percentage from 9, uh, 1990 to 2007 this was uh, take this was um, published a long back ago uh, and also alcohol and each and every substances have increased their percent rate but none of them have uh, decreased at any cost in 1935 two scientists named uh, Actually, a scientist and a doctor, Dr. Bob Smith and uh, Bill Wilson, who were also known as Dr. Bob and Bill W., they, they, they undergo a process and uh, they found alcoholic anonymous. This led to uh, various other branches like um, a narcotic anonymous, cocaine anonymous, marijuana anonymous. So he is Dr. Bob Smith and uh, he is Bill Wilson. These two were the one who found Alcoholics Anonymous. Some of the most addictive drugs are heroin and methamphetamine. Oracles. The ancient civilizations of Greeks and Romans uh, consulted oracles for political and military decision, uh, decisions. That is, those were the days uh, where Greek and Rom Roman people uh, were much addicted towards drugs. The oracles included uh, induced prophetic uh, visions with drugs like mushrooms and cannabis. These two substances were included in and next hallucinations. Naturally, there is something very mystical in seeing hallucinations and plants containing antiogens, that is natural chemicals that induce hallucinations. These also include peyote, cactus, fly agaric, and cannabis. Clearly, this is also a form of drug, drug abuse, although it was socially acceptable at one, at a, uh, one at, uh, at the time, uh, it also led to a, a drug abuse, which were harmful to the people who were participating in that. And mysteries, in 15th century, the cult of Dionysus and Demeter Persephone in ancient Greece used a special form of med. Med is nothing but fermented honey or bees. These two, uh, these uh, two were the thing uh, which they induced visions known as mysteries. And uh, these uh, drug abuse were started. Uh, we all knew that uh, every place is uh, right now. Everyone are addicted towards drugs. Not. And not 99% uh, but most people uh, they they voluntarily or involuntarily they they just move into this addiction they knew that that is addiction but uh, uh, by the society or by their mindset they just uh, fall into it like that street children this is the first and foremost where drug abuse is most popular in India that is drawing on research in Kenya Control boys argue that drug use amongst street children is primarily functional, dulling the senses against the hardships on life on the street, but can also provide a link to the support structure on the street family. That is, uh, as they just um, introduce these drugs to the street children, and uh, it's obviously those street families will suffer a lot, and that is what here it is. And also, teenagers. Unfortunately, most people who become addicted to their drugs or alcohols uh, first use the substance for uh, teenagers. Uh, recently, even uh, women or ladies are also addicted towards these drugs. 
and next comes pop musicians uh, this was a wonder for me because uh, this was the first time i i uh, i read about pop musicians that is even they use uh, chemical substances or they are also uh, addicted towards these drugs and uh, like cocaine uh, for their um, purpose in um, uh, playing the music as they as they get into it they just uh, move towards uh, their imagination and they, and they just started uh, to play or sing uh, either knowingly or unknowingly uh, it is not, it is that uh, cocaine it uh, we should not use cocaine actually uh, it is because neurology it affects the neurological part of our body so hereby it's not the drug that make a drug addict it's the need to escape reality that is what uh, i would uh, like to conclude that a uh, drug addict people uh, they they just get into it uh, both knowingly and unknowingly uh, some people just uh, they move into this drug addiction or any addict any sort of addiction just to escape the reality that is not the solution that is actually not at all the solution for drug addiction addiction Uh, for uh, or uh, that is not the proper solution for uh, uh, for finding answers for their uh, their problems to face the reality so it is our duty let's stand uh, for, let's stand forward and uh, let's uh, speak for them and let's do something new and let's make them uh, let us make them also as human being who uh, could also come uh, who we can uh, recover them from like a fresh old new people like this thank you thank you so much pavitra petrina uh, is bhavani here mm, no and divya j is not here in the meeting either so i think we are done ma'am all uh, participants are present post it in the group because they have sent the presentation slides okay ma'am post it in the group which we have created now Ramana ma'am can you please wait for a while I don't mind in waiting Praveena madam thank you madam the via is coming ma'am okay good one more uh she hasn't responded what's her name ma bhavani bhavani she has posted the ppt ah huh?
Is this audible? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. Ah. Uh, you okay. can present. Okay. I'm sorry for this in inconvenience. My net is really slow. It's okay, ma. It's okay. A drug is a substance that alters the body's function either physically or psychologically. There are many types of drugs we are going to see one by one. These are the pictures of drugs. History of drug. The United States longest unwinnable war is the war of drugs. Now still in our country and in many other countries too, there are many illegal drugs still available in every parts of the world. We are going to see a mind map about how to stop drug addiction. Here you could see why we are a drug addict. We should ask ourselves why we are worrying about. We should ask yes or no. Let's worry or worry not. Action plan and now later. We must change the focus of our attention. The real history of drugs. Cocaine. Even the small amounts of cocaine in Coca-Cola, it didn't carry any stigma. But there were many harsh laws that the drug became very much popular so that even many people are arrested because of consuming of these drugs. You could see the packets of these drugs. It's still been prohibited by many countries. The real history of the drugs MDMA. You could see the pictures of these MDMA drugs. These drugs did not become illegal until 1985. The history of drugs marijuana. It looks like a neem leaf, but it's really dangerous for every human beings. We must not con uh, consume more in amount. The real history of drugs opium. Opium has well benefits and disadvantages too. First, the opium was discovered by Chinese people and the drug became prohibited in 1914. It has many medical benefits too. You could see the pictures of opium. The real history of drugs LSD. You could see the pictures of LSD by using the LSD drug. What are the disadvantage we will get us? Psychological addiction. We would get flashbacks of memories. We will get sweating, increased body temperature and whatnot. Depression too. So people stop using these drugs. Substances that abuse will tobacco. Many people are consuming tobacco, that means using smoke, so that they are always smoking and they got cancer, peptic ulcer disease, stroke, and whatnot, many diseases. So people stop smoking. The effects of alcohol on our body. By using alcohol, what are the diseases we get? We would list a few. A can cancer, lung infections, fatigue, liver damage, pancreas, frequent diarrhea, infertility, and many diseases we'll get. And our mood also swings because of the alcohol consumption. Hallucinogens. Hallucinogens distort and intensify sensations, but the actual effects are variable and highly unpredictable. A short note on inhalants. What are inhalants? Inhalants are invisible volatile substances they can found in our daily household products like uh, spray paint, air freshener, conditional refrigerant, and even in cooking spray. Inhalants are not good for our health. Central nervous system depressants. How it affects our brain? 
we will get slurred speech poor concentration by using the drugs we will get poor concentration we will be confused we will get uh, dizziness headness and lowering of blood pressure why people consume drugs people may begin using drugs for several reasons they want to enjoy their pleasurable experience they want to blend their unpleasant feelings they want to improve their performance at work school or athletics be curious or give in to peer pressure the symptoms for drug addiction are bloodshot eyes and looking very tired changes in appetite usually eating less craving drugs difficulty completing tasks at work school inability to reduce or control drug use issues with money weight loss and some common physical signs of drug addiction you could see our appetite will be changed we get sudden weight loss or we will be weight gained our personal hygiene must be in lack and that short eyes our coordination will be poor the treatment for drug addiction general uh, image is that we must help we must support we must advise we must guide and we must assist what are the treatments for drug addiction we must meditate ourselves we must enjoy our life so that we can't become a drug addict in the future so what are the therapies we must do to cure drug addiction De- detoxification you should stop taking drugs allow the drugs to leave the body you may take health care supervision to detox safely there are many other methods so that you can come from a drug addict medication can be a part of your treatment plan you you can team figures out the best medical tips to overcome drug addict admitting you have a problem many individuals end up admitting that they have a problem and after a terrible experience occurs such as they lose a relationship a job or an accident they are they are coming to know that they are a drug addict so before going to get this you must know that ah, we are drug addict so that we have to take the proper treatment and precautions we must find a support so that uh, if regardless of the treatment program that a person choose they need a support and help throughout the journey so that they could come from the drug addict making sobriety last achieving sobriety and completely a rehab program are some of the major steps in the drug recovery process creating a meaningful drug free life building a new happy life can quite a bit a lot of effort but it's a vital step ideally a recovering addict should become involved in activities that will make them enjoy and feel happy so that they become important and valid road to recovery and a joy of happiness thank you for this for giving me a wonderful opportunity to telecast my talents and ideas thanks once again thank you so much divya j uh, ma'am we have tried to contact bhavani but she didn't pick up okay uh, so this is the list right yes ma'am uh, ramna ma'am i think we are done with the presentation only this many has come uh that is actually a good number uh, dr pravina it was actually a nice show and all the students have presented very well in respect of being a different platform and uh, there are uh, one or two glitches but the students have uh, coped up with that and a special mention to uh, the organizing team amudini hats off you have done a very good job and a special mention to the yrc coordinator dr pravina for inviting me thank you so much it was a nice show and uh, you uh, i mean the presenters have enlightened me on uh, various aspects of the drugs and it was quite interesting at the same time uh if there would have been a large number of audience this would have been a very good show because you people have organized it in such a way i would like to really hats uh, put forth my special thanks to you all and kudos to the entire team thank you uh, thank you dr ramna thank yeah. you so much ma'am. thank you amudini uh, thank you all the presenters first question yes uh so uh, one of the participants said uh, that it was uh, kind of acceptable if you use drugs um uh, if you're using it for a creative purpose like shakespeare did uh she said uh, uh, don't use drugs to get wasted but uh, if there's a purpose to it use it and uh, pavitra petrana to said that um, um pop stars use drugs right to mash in their creative juices uh what do you think about that do you think it's acceptable to use drugs uh if there's a purpose to it except getting wasted 
I don't know what's the purpose of your question, Amudini. Are we going to discuss about that? No, ma'am. I was just asking if uh, using drugs is acceptable if there's a purpose to it, if you gain something out of it, like financially or creatively. See, why you are using this platform to ask about it? No, that student said that it was okay to do so, and I do not agree with that. So I, like everybody heard that, right? So I was just That's okay. checking. It's okay, President. Uh, actually, uh, all these discussions can be done only in the debate uh, or any other thing. Okay, not in the presentation. It is her view which she has presented, and Dr. Ramana will uh, analyze how she has presented and the content and everything. Dr. Ramana will uh, take care. So, Amudini, uh, we need not have to discuss about the interior things of uh, the drug and drug abuse and all those. It is their opinion they have presented. Okay. The other things, yes. the opinion, uh, if you have a, any other opinion, we can discuss it personally. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, all the students. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Ramna Devika. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you Praveena. Can I leave? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Thank you. Can we leave, ma'am? Yeah, everybody can leave. Thank you so much. Uh, the results will be announced during the valedictory function tomorrow. Uh, please be ready for that. It will happen in the evening around 6.30 or something. We haven't decided the time yet. Uh, please stay tuned in the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you.